Hey Pisces, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and here's some deep thoughts for you. This is just a little bonus reading. I know I put out a six-week reading about two weeks ago, but you know what? I just feel like reading some cards, so this is a Pisces bonus reading. I want to warn you, I'm in the backyard. It's a beautiful afternoon in Colorado, so you very well may hear some uh, dogs barking. God forbid a squirrel, a squirrel runs by. It'll be just chaos for a minute. But you might hear some dogs barking. You might hear a lawnmower start. You might hear some neighbors outside. Somebody might come in and say, hey, what the hell are you doing, Dana? (laughs) So I just want to prepare you. And if it gets to be too much of a distraction, I will pause the camera, clear the commotion, and pick up right where I left off, all right? This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces, okay? A general reading is not your personal reading. Do not make decisions or actions based on a general reading. This is the general feeling of the sign of Pisces based on the planetary positions and all of that good stuff that I don't know a lot about. All I know how to do is read the cards, right? So anyway, if you'd like a personal reading just like this, just for you, just for your situation, you can click the link in the box below if you are subscribed to my channel and get a $50 reading. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you can go to deepthoughtswithdana.com and just pick up a regular old reading, right? The price of a reading is worth its weight in gold, whether it's from me or anybody else. All right, so... Pisces, what is going on? Holy schmoly. All right, so we start this reading with the Ten of Swords. This Ten of Swords to the Queen of Cups, all in your feels, but very, very confused about some things and uh, want to, uh, want to uh, win and manifest a situation. So what's going on here? Well, the Ten of Swords tells me that you want to regenerate something that is dead and gone. You want to reunite and reconcile with someone or something from your past. And the Wheel of Fortune comes in and says that this is a turning point in your life, a turning point in your destiny. Queen of Cups. Sorry, I had to itch my nose. Queen of Cups, all up in your feels, right? In your feels, representing Pisces right there in your feels. Two of Swords, though, says that you have a lot of confusion and indecision to the Eight of Cups because some, somehow you have either walked away from this or this has walked away from you in the past. The Moon card comes in and says there's confusion and anxiety. And the Three of Swords comes in and says there was pain, heartbreak, painful separation, grief, and sorrow in regards to this person from your past or situation from your past, okay? However, these cards also mean, with the Two of Swords right there, dealing with repressed emotions, the Eight of Cups moving on from feelings of sadness and despair, the moon card dealing with repressed emotions and the three of swords coming out of all of that pain and having some optimism. You were presenting as the empress right there, Pisces. Um, and I know I don't want to hear no flack. I know you're not an earth sign, particularly Taurus, but you might have some in your chart somewhere. But nevertheless, you are presenting as the empress. This empress is all about a abundance. Not only that, but the Empress is the culmination of all four queens in the deck. The Empress has her emotions in check. She has her mental in check. She has her passion in check. And she has her security in check. She's the culmination of all four queens in the deck. So there you are. That is how you are presenting as the Empress after you deal with all of this. The moon is the card of Pisces also, by the way, and Cancer, some people say. So you're dealing with all of this right here, right? And you're emerging as the Empress, total control of yourself, total control of your emotions. Empress is clarified by judgment. There is some very serious decision that you're going to make. And I want to point out, judgment is in this reading twice. A very serious decision that you're going to make. Judgment is about following an inner calling and a rebirth. It's an irrevocable decision that once you make it, you can't go back. Okay? 
This decision is about the emperor. Interesting, because I believe Taurus's reading had emperor all over it as well. This emperor is also in the center of your reading. This is the predominant primary energy that is the foundation for this entire reading and the energy that's going on right here. So this emperor, you're making a decision, it clarified by the empress, no less, okay? So this tells me that you are making an absolute, very serious decision. You want to be the empress to this emperor, okay? Because this is a love reading. I don't know how else to say it, but it is a love reading, okay? So you want to be the empress to this emperor, and you have made up your mind as the empress that this is what you want. Three of Wands says that you're getting ready to expand, getting ready for those ships to come in and expand. Six of Pentacles, who it is you give and receive with on a daily basis will be the Emperor. At least you want it to be the Emperor, right? The Emperor, this is the card of Aries. Might mean something to you, might not, but it is in here twice, okay? Just want to point that out. You don't have to be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with somebody that takes on the energy of an Aries, right? That takes on the energy of the emperor, control, authority, establishment, and structure. Judgment card, again, second time, comes in and says that you are making a judgment call. You're blowing the horn and you're saying, this is it. This is what I want. This is what I'm getting. This is happening for me. Come hell or high water. I am going to make this happen. Ace of Wands, an inspired, passionate, creative new beginning. To the Nine of Cups. I know my camera's kind of weird because I'm outside. To the Nine of Cups. This is your wishes fulfilled. Total wishes fulfilled. And this creates an absolute tower moment in your life. Creates an absolute tower moment in your life. And you know what I think? I think that you are making the decision as the empress up here to be the empress to the emperor. That's your decision. And down here, I think this emperor is making the decision to go forward with a passionate new beginning for you. Wishes fulfilled. I mean, like, whoa, it's like, it's like, it's like everything coming together all at once. It's like, it's divine timing. Okay. This creates a tower moment in your life, an epiphany a revelation, an awakening, and sudden change, maybe even a little chaos, right? Maybe even a little chaos because you did have all that up there, right? All, all that repressed emotion and broken heart and walking away and all that, right? Strength card comes in and it's interesting to me that strength is underneath the emperor right here because um, this, this emperor is who you're after, right? So this strength card right here, is, is advising you to be strong, have strength, right? Have strength. But you know what? This card is also about trusting, right? Because she's petting this lion like it's a house cat and he's letting her pet him like he's a house cat. And there's absolute trust between these two creatures. This is saying to trust the journey. Like I just said, divine timing, trust this journey. However, Pisces, you have a problem. You have a little bit of a problem. Five of Wands, there's lots of conflict. Lots of conflict and, and maybe some competition in the past. Maybe that's what all of this walking away and the broken heart was about. Um, don't know, whatever it is for you, but nevertheless, lots of conflict because of the Seven of Swords, because there was, okay, yes, there was betrayal in the past. That's why one of you walked away in the past. That's why you have fear and anxiety. That's why there's a broken heart and that's why there's indecision, right? Now, I want to point out that this Five of Wands is also about an increased focus in goals. It's about taking that conflict and using it as fuel to focus on something important, a goal. Seven of Swords is also about breaking free from mental challenges. So what this tells me, this Seven of Swords underneath the Empress to the Ace of Wands to the Seven of Swords right there, is that you are breaking free from the betrayal and the deception of the past. The Judgment card, Eight of Cups, walking away, judgment, and the Five of Wands with the conflict and competition, potentially, um, tells me that that 
that like it's set up here, that walking away from those feelings, using the conflict from the past to fuel, there goes the dogs, using the conflict from the past to fuel um, what it is that you want to get. What do you want to get? Well, this devil right here, this devil, mm -mm 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 -mm. there is some definite sexual attraction going on here, but this devil energy is also representative of this broken heart right here as well. So this devil has broken your heart in the past in some way, right? The card of Capricorn may mean something, may not, it doesn't matter, don't care. But this devil energy is what broke your heart right there. So you're releasing you're releasing the mental challenges and you are releasing the conflict. And what you want is uh, death. The card of Scorpio may mean something, may not, doesn't freaking matter. However, death is an ending, a change, a transformation of this relationship. Hence, reuniting and reconciling. Hence, being the empress to the emperor. A new beginning and a new journey is on the horizon. And there you are, emotionally secure, emotionally controlled, calm, cool, collected, and knowing that you know that you know that you are the empress to the emperor. There you go, Pisces. What a great reading. What a great reading. Spirit, is there anything else you want to say to this Pisces about what's going on right here? Anything else you want to say about what's going on right here? Yeah, something or someone was left out in the cold. Something or someone was left out in the cold in the past. And, and, anything else? Anything else? What's this? There's going to be a lot. Of, okay, so there's going to be serious truth and discussion about being left out in the cold, leaving somebody out in the cold, betrayal, and backstabbing. There's going to be, Poppy, Poppy, there's going to be communication about that, and it's all going to work out. What a beautiful reading, Pisces. If you want a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com.